On the wave, my own wave can't stop my shine. In the lane, my own lane can't stop my grind. Stop my grind. I'm 40 yard in the V12 and like 1.5. 1 .5. At 19, I clear 19 in a month, no lie. Oh God. I was starving skinny, now my weight up. Got no energy for haters. See you trying, see you later. See you later. I'm sure. Who's ready for some choreo? Alright, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an intermediate combo today. Um, so, this is kind of like a full top to bottom round, a little reply round. Freeze focused, more trick based, um, not top rock, and only a little bit of footwork and not really original moves. More just some more kind of intermediate to advanced style movement, okay? So we're going to start off. You're just going to, as a reply, as if you're going to finish it around, you're going to step forwards, whichever leg you decide to use. You're going to grab your foot, jump that, okay? So you're going to go step, jump thread, all right? So again, we're going to go step, jump thread, okay? I personally like to jump before I grab my foot. It's up to you. You can always go step, Grab, jump, thread, but I like to go step, jump, then thread. I find it easier, okay? And it's more dynamic. So then from here, weights forwards, you're gonna rotate your grip to the top of your foot, then you're gonna knee drop, boom, like this. Now you're gonna keep on this foot, you're gonna raise your bum up as you rotate so that this foot can go through into your knee drop. So you know what here? Knee drop to the back, all right? Now let's try those three together. So going, step, jump, thread, Knee drop, pivot, and thread, okay? Now from here, left hand down, if you do the same side as me, head down, push off the foot that you're grabbing to raise this leg up. Push, and then you're gonna thread through, boom, okay? So again, from here, you're gonna go push, raise this leg, thread. So to make that thread and hold balance, it makes it a lot easier if while you're threading, you kick to the front, okay? So from here, you go up, kick, like that, okay? Try not to kick too low, or else you're gonna fall. Kick, don't, don't kick too high, or else you're gonna fall. Try, try to kick just straight, and after you kick, you're gonna come down straight to stab. So we're here, push up, kick, and then stab, okay? So if you don't have that yet, make sure you just drill headstand to stab. It's not super hard, but from one hand while holding one, it can be. As I said, use that kick to help hold your balance, then let go, catch stab, okay? From stab, you're just gonna push straight up. So let's try from the thread uh, to the stab and then push out of it. So from here, here, you're like this. You go kick, stab. From here, you're gonna kick and you're gonna land Cross leg, like that, okay? So as high as you can from there. Again, up. From here, I rotate front, throw a burn, or whatever you wanna do, wave, it's up to you, whatever your style is. From here, we're gonna lean onto our right toe, left heel, boom, like this, and you're gonna pivot around into a, a corkscrew. So you're gonna go here, pivot down to front, okay? Once you find front, your arm's gonna come into your ribs, into a side chair. Catch, hit. Head down, head off, your choice, okay? So again, from headstand, that was hit, catch, up, spin, and hit. And again, if you want, add the burn in there, okay? Now, moving on from side chair, here, you're gonna come back in like this, okay? Then you're just gonna switch knees or knee drops. You can switch as many times as you want, depending on if I'm messing the core up or not, or if I'm freestyling, I do it differently every time. So you're gonna go here, hop, switch, one, two, like that, okay? So again, that was, for me, my left leg's in front, I'm gonna switch my right leg in front. So bend, hop, switch, hand down, lean, and then do a cross leg kick out. Boom, just like this, okay? If I'm doing it properly, <laughs> My right leg now comes behind, left leg behind, and I'm gonna touch my right toe. Boom, like that. So again, from here, that was hit, but the other foot's in front. <laughs> so again, that was here, step, jump, and you're gonna step forwards on that foot and grab your back foot, okay? Just another smack. So together, those were here, you're going out, 
step, tap, and tap, okay? From here, we're just gonna kick to the front, switch, and from this, we just wanna get into a two-step. I go this way for my two-step, so I'm gonna use a little monkey swing to realign my movement so that I can go this direction. So I'm gonna go swing left, right, depending on if I need a breather, I may do a few more. And then right here, I'll go into a two-step. So going one, two, and then on the second one, I'm gonna take it up into a box freeze or figure four air freeze. So how I do this is coming from a coffee grinder uh, into a handstand. So if you don't have a coffee grinder handstand, uh, learn it. <laughs> if you don't know how to do it, um, I believe I have some videos on my channel talking about how to do coffee grinder handstand. If you don't know where it is and you forget it and you want me to make a tutorial on it though, comment down below, I can make that happen. So you have to understand how to go sweep, handstand, okay? So I'm basically doing that, but from a two step and I'm hitting a figure four freeze. So figure four freeze like this, boom. One leg over top, one leg bent. Your sweeping leg, you want it to land on the top, okay? So could I swing my right leg? My right leg's gonna go on, on top. So I'm gonna hop over it, go into two step. It's gonna kick straight to my bum. And I'm gonna cross it like this, ready? Watch this leg, up and hit, okay? Left leg. Just pivot, body form. You wanna pivot as much as you can to one side. That's what's gonna make it nice, and that's what's gonna make it easier to hold as well. So from the two step, you're gonna go one, two, and then switch right here to sweep, up and hit, okay? So obviously I'm tired now from doing it too much. I'm not gonna hold it really well, but that's the idea, okay? So. Two step, two step, hit. So let's go again from the kick out. So we're going from here, right in front of left, going hit, step, and step, and kick, and sweep, 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 two step, up, okay? Now, how I come down is just like I did here. Usually I go right foot back down as it's in front, my left foot turns, and then I pivot, now I'm at the front, okay? So the last move we're doing is just a Valdez, or rainbow, handstand, pull through, okay? Now, this one can be a little tricky. Some people may think it's advanced, some may think it's foundation, it's up to you. For my intermediate stuff, I like kind of throwing in stuff that's maybe a little harder than intermediate, and stuff that's a little easier, because that's what intermediate is, it's kind of middle base, so. You wanna have some stuff in there that you can really hold on to and understand. And you want some stuff that really pushes you to the next level. So we just came down from here. You basically just wanna prep into a Valdez. However you want, how I like to, is I just came down. I like to do a couple CCs, because one of my favorite moves, just like CC, one, two-handed, one-handed, however you want. And then once I get my breath back and I'm ready to go into my Valdez, I just do a jump forwards into my Valdez because I find that the easiest prep. You can go CC back and jump into it, but I find that personally harder for um, the flowy motion. If I want to do just a jump back air freeze, I'm going to want the power, but if not, I want to have more of the, the forwards prep, okay? So the forwards prep, all I do is I go jump flat foot like this, windmill my left arm, and then my right arm goes up, okay? You want to go straight up as much as you can, Mine's not great, I tilt to the side. Um, if it's too hard for you, you can also totally just go like to your feet, however you want. I like to try and make it harder though, so try to go up. And um, if you can, go to a straight handstand and then you pull through. So cradle through, if you don't know, it's like this. You cross your legs, you pull through. Sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> you cross your legs, you keep it tight, pull through like this, okay? Then you go here, wave up. You can also, Totally just pull through and land like that if you want. Again, it's your choice. If I'm lazy or I'm feeling exhausted and faded, I'll just pull through and land on my back like a suicide. If I have energy and I can push it, I'll try to go up to my feet, okay? So, adding that together. Again, you wanna shoot straight up, catch handstand, and then through. So, what I would do is I'd try it from handstand now first, like this, and then pull through and wave up, okay? So the trick to that is, if you have a handstand push-up, 
or like a handstand down to tuck, planche or anything like that. That's all you have to do. Once you get up to here, engage everything like you're gonna halt through your life and then bend down and pull through, okay? So you just have to take the momentum backwards and then through like a circle, okay? So add together now, looking like this, going to your feet like that first. Once you can do that, readjust and go through into handstand, okay? Because your hands are kind of turned and all crazy, I just adjust slightly and then pull through. Um, again, I'm not incredible at this move, but doesn't mean you can't do it, right? It's not about being the best at every move, it's just about exploring new areas, okay? So that's why I'm sharing it. I'm not sharing this because I've got these moves mastered to the best degree. I'm sharing these as ideas and concepts for you guys to flip, use, and to kind of blueprint off of, okay? Okay, so once you've decided which one you wanna do, now just add it all together. So I'm gonna go like once, walking it through, and we'll just kind of mark it, and then we'll do it once like semi full out and then we'll do it all together okay let's go so five six seven eight step ha miss your thread five six seven eight step jump thread knee drop pivot head thread roll out of it go back to it thread catch up hit down here and pop switch, hit, step, and front, and kick, switch, sweep, sweep, and two step, up, come down, find front, CC, CC, decide which one you wanna do here. Okay, let's just do an easier one for now. Go and finish, okay? And if you feel like you have the power, go through or just stay up, okay? Now let's try for realsies. Okay, windows are open, shirts off. You know what that means. We gotta do for real, baby. Five, six, seven, eight. Hit, boom, pop, chop, hit, and switch, hit. Through. Okay, all right, y'all. That's all for me. Flip this video, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of style of content. If not, comment down below. Let me know what you do want to see. And I'll just make that happen for you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Stay safe out there. Peace, love, unity. Love is love.